A Johnson City family is seeking justice after the death of their son from a fentanyl overdose. Isaiah Beatty died in November of 2021 at the family's home. He was 23 years old. Just last week, Christopher Jones was charged in the Washington County, Tennessee criminal court with second degree murder in Beatty's death. An affidavit from 2021 says Beatty allegedly purchased drugs from Jones before his death. News Channel 11's John Janko spoke with the Beatty family earlier today. He joins us in the studio with more on how the family is re reacting rather to this new charge. John? Sarah, prosecutors are pursuing that second degree murder charge based on a 2018 state law that allows the charge for drug dealers in cases where any amount of fentanyl is found in an overdose victim system. I spoke with Isaiah Beatty's parents earlier today. They say it's a chance for justice as they cope with the loss of their son. He's more than a statistic. He's more than someone who got lost to fentanyl. Almost two years since their son Isaiah's death from a fentanyl overdose, Kelly and Anthony Beatty are still dealing with the pain. Isaiah's bedroom sits untouched from how it was when he died. For us, his room is um, a way to be close to him, I mm -hmm. think. It's really hard to try to box up. A, a child. Isaiah Beatty loved his family and fishing. His mother says she believes he was trying to self-medicate anxiety when he overdosed. Now Christopher Jones, the man who allegedly sold Isaiah the drugs that led to the overdose, faces a second degree murder charge. The 2018 law allowing stiffer penalties and fentanyl related overdoses providing the Beattys with a path to justice. We found out there was something that would take that shield away from a, someone dealing drugs or take it, you know, pull that shield down and say, hey, you're exposed. That is what amazed us. Jones was arraigned on the second degree murder charge and pleaded not guilty in court Monday morning. He also faces multiple drug and weapons charges stemming from Isaiah Beatty's overdose. We knew that justice takes time and I didn't doubt it whenever from the day of we were on the mission of holding someone accountable, right. and they were too. The Beatties are now one of the many families trying to move forward after the loss of a loved one to fentanyl. Kelly Beatty says they are lucky to get accountability in their case because so many others do not. But getting that justice won't change how she moves forward. It is important to hold them accountable, but we can't put our healing in the judicial yeah, system. Yeah, right, exactly. The Beatties say they will be there in court as that case moves forward. A judge postponed a plea deadline for Jones's other drug and weapons charges this morning. His next court appearance is set for November 15th.